considered two of the greatest players of recent times. Neymar Jr. and Cristiano Ronaldo are two great players who have divided opinion on who was the best in the world. But have you ever stopped to think who was better at each skill at the peak of their careers? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Neymar and Cristiano Ronaldo. Endurance in terms of physical endurance, both players have always been good, but which one moved more on the pitch at their prime? Neymar Jr., for example, at the height of his career, was able to maintain a high level of performance throughout matches, demonstrating endurance and physical vigor. He is able to make sudden changes of direction without losing his breath, demonstrating excellent physical endurance on the pitch. Based on his average distance traveled in the 2017 Champions League, Neymar covered 70.6 kilometers in seven matches, which gives an average of 10 kilometers per game, showing that he moves well during matches. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is a player widely recognized for his incredible physical ability, even more so in 2014 when he was around 29 years old, a time when he was younger and more physically fit. Ronaldo is an athlete who takes very good care of his fitness, and it's no wonder that he's able to maintain a high level of performance throughout the 90 minutes of a match. He is able to run for long periods without showing signs of fatigue, which shows that he is a player with excellent physical endurance. According to data from the same competition, in 2014, CR7 ran 110.7 kilometers in 11 matches, an average of 10 kilometers per match, demonstrating his tireless energy and breath on the pitch. And although both players are in excellent physical condition, let's call it a draw. Assists both celebrities have always been collaborative players on the pitch, but which one was better at assists at the peak of their careers? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, despite being considered an individualist on the pitch, also manages to help his team by providing good assists that demonstrate his ability to contribute to the team's play. With his technique and speed, he can position himself in an exemplary way to deliver beautiful passes to his team. With his impressive vision, Cristiano Ronaldo can make precise passes passes over long distances, giving his team a strategic advantage and leaving opposing defenses completely disarmed. According to statistics from the 2014 season, it is estimated that he made a total of 21 assists in just 54 games, which means an average of 0.39 assists per game, a good figure for a player who is known for being an individualist. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, is a player with exceptional vision, capable of identifying spaces and finding teammates in favorable positions. His precise and intelligent assists are often decisive for his team's success. During the 2017 Dallas 2018 season, Neymar recorded 16 successful assists in 30 games, which represents an average of 0.53 assists per game. So when it comes to assists, Neymar has the edge, so points to him. Dribbles Everyone knows that both football geniuses are excellent dribblers, but who excelled more at this skill at the height of their careers? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, is a well-established player whose technical and precise dribbling is enhanced by his unusual agility, which makes him virtually unstoppable in one-on-one -on -one matches. One of Cristiano Ronaldo's best-known dribbles is the step-over, a technique in which he pretends to be going in one direction and then quickly switches to another using a movement with his legs. Another of Ronaldo's popular dribbles is the chop, which involves using the inside of the foot to cut the ball in the opposite direction. The chop is an agile and surprising move that Ronaldo uses to get past defenders and create space to move forward. Ronaldo also uses his agility and speed to get past defenders, easily outrunning his opponents. Neymar Jr., for his part, has a vast repertoire of spectacular moves and dribbles, which he uses masterfully during matches, making him a true football showman on the pitch. One of his most used dribbles is the pen, in English nutmeg, a dribble in which he passes the ball between his opponent's legs. One of his most daring dribbles is the rainbow flick, a technique in which he passes the ball over his opponent's head, as well as these spectacular dribbles. Neymar Jr. is also known for his ability to dribble at speed, using quick changes of direction to outpace defenders. The Brazilian has dribbling as one of his most outstanding skills and is considered one of the best in the game today. 
as it's difficult to classify which of the two was the better dribbler, we'll consider it a draw. But you can choose your favorite. Passing. Both football stars are exceptional players on the pitch, but who had the best passing statistics at the peak of their careers? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, although he's also better known for his other skills, doesn't lag when it comes to passing, being able to pull off excellent moves with his refined technique. When positioned on the sides of the pitch, his ability to make long-distance passes is also impressive, showing that he is capable of helping his team a lot. Based on statistics from the 2014 Champions League, Ronaldo made 368 passes in 11 games with an accuracy of 75.9%, which gives a reasonable average of 33 completed passes per game. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, is recognized as one of the best passers in the world, with an exceptional ability to make precise passes regardless of the situation, contributing to his team's success. He has a very sharp vision of the game, which allows him to quickly identify the best passing options and find his teammates in good positions to finish. Neymar also passes with several parts of his foot, which greatly increases his passing options during the game. According to UEFA statistics, at their peak in 2017, Neymar made 299 passes in 7 games with an accuracy of 19.1%, which gives an average of 42 complete passes per game, including 4 successful crosses. As Neymar achieved more satisfactory numbers that year, points to him! Speed the two football veterans have always been agile players on the pitch, but which of them was the fastest player in his prime? Neymar, for example, with his explosiveness, is able to leave defenders behind in seconds. His agility is a constant threat to the opposition. In 2017, Neymar demonstrated his ability by reaching an average speed of 31.5 km per hour in the Champions League that year, leaving his markers baffled by his impressive speed. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, stands out more in this regard. He can run with the ball at high speed, which makes him a constant danger to opposing defenses, allowing him to create good chances and finish successfully. In 2014, Ronaldo recorded a top speed of 32 km per hour, a figure below his average but still better than his opponents. In other words, we can say that in this respect, Cristiano Ronaldo is the best. Strength. In terms of fitness, the two players are very different, but which of them was considered the strongest in 2014? Neymar, despite his smaller stature, makes up for his lack of strength with his agility and intelligence. He has a lighter physique, and in 2017 $18, he weighed 149.9 pounds and stood 5 feet 9 inches tall. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is a player well known for his impressive physical strength. He has a much more athletic physique, standing at 6 feet 1 inch tall and weighing around 179 pounds in 2014 with well-defined muscles and excellent physical endurance. Ronaldo is a very disciplined athlete who maintains an intense training routine and a strict diet. His impressive physical strength helps him to run quickly and dispose of defenders with ease, even in challenging physical contact situations, showing his athletic superiority. His physique is also able to help him score goals from the air, as he can jump high and head with power. In other words, there's no doubt that when it comes to physical strength, Cristiano Ronaldo is the strongest, so point to him! Shots and goals Everyone knows that both strikers have always scored a lot of goals, but who had the best goal conversion average in their prime? Neymar Jr., for example, is recognized for his ability to finish with precision and power. He manages to keep his cool in pressurized situations, making him an effective finisher at the most decisive moments. Neymar also stands out for his powerful shooting, allowing him to take place shots and excellent free kicks, impressing everyone with his unique ability on the pitch. The Brazilian is also very creative when it comes to finishing, often opting for dribbles rather than direct shots on goal. Another aspect of his game is his ability 
ability to score goals with both legs. In the 2017-18 Champions League, for example, he scored four goals with his right leg and two goals with his left, showing his versatility on the pitch. During that season, the Brazilian scored a total of 28 goals in 30 games, an average of 0.93 goals per match. Cristiano Ronaldo, for his part, was also considered one of the best strikers of 2014. The Portuguese star is recognized as one of the world's leading penalty specialists, having scored 13 goals from just 16 spot kicks, which represents a good 81% penalty conversion rate. When it comes to area shots, Cristiano Ronaldo is considered one of the best players in the world, having scored impressive 17 headed goals, making him the top scorer of headed goals this season. Adding up all his goals in 2014, it's estimated that Ronaldo scored an impressive 61 goals in just 54 games, which represents a spectacular average of 1.13 goals per game. And despite both being great scorers, CR7 was the top scorer this season. Awards Both footballing idols have won many awards, but which of them was the most successful at the peak of their careers? Neymar Jr., for example, has won many important awards for the teams he has played for, including a Conmebol Libertadores, a UEFA Champions League, and a FIFA Club World Cup. For the Brazilian national team, he has won an Olympic gold medal and a Confederations Cup. He has also been nominated a few times for the FIFA Ballon d'Or award, finishing third on two of those occasions. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, has won almost every award a player can aim for. Starting with the Ballon d'Or, he's won the award five times, making him the second most successful player. As for FIFA's newly created the best award, Cristiano Ronaldo has two titles to his name. Playing for the clubs he has played for, Ronaldo has also made a name for himself with his main achievements being his five UEFA Champions League titles and four FIFA Club World Cups. In other words, when it comes to awards won at the peak of their careers, there's no doubt that Cristiano Ronaldo was the most victorious. Market Value The two football magnates have always been very famous and coveted, but which one was the most valuable and in demand by clubs? Neymar Jr., for example, is one of the players who stands out in this regard. Currently, at Al-Hilal, he will be one of the highest paid players in the world, earning an annual salary of 200 million euros. As for his market value, Neymar is the player with the biggest transfer in history, with a value of 222 million euros to play for PSG. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is one of the most successful players in the world. The Portuguese star is currently considered the highest paid athlete in the world, receiving almost 200 million euros a year to play for Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser. In terms of market value, Cristiano Ronaldo had his most expensive transfer in 2018 when he moved to Juventus for 100 million euros. As Neymar has a higher market value and higher salary, Neymar wins this round. At the end of this battle, we had 5 points for Neymar against 6 points for Cristiano Ronaldo being the best player in his prime. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write down your best justification here.